Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Condition Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll give you another update on the Egypt Air plane crash, a shooting in Fort Myers, and more. Today is Tuesday, May 24th, and this is the lunch break. WNBA rookie Whitney Knight, the 15th overall pick by the Los Angeles Sparks in April's draft, recorded her first official points as a professional on Friday. The two-time Atlantic Sun Conference Player of the Year saw minutes late in the Sparks game at Washington, hitting a corner three-pointer with 47.6 seconds left. Chicago White Sox All-Star pitcher Chris Sale also made headlines on Friday, regarded as the best FGCU baseball product ever to sport the green and blue. Recognized as the Collegiate Baseball National Player of the Year in 2010, Sale became the first pitcher in Major League Baseball history to win his first nine starts of the season. Since joining the big leagues in 2010, Sale has developed into one of the most elite starting arms in the game. The 27-year-old has gone on to become a four-time MLB All-Star, currently playing in his seventh season. Human remains retrieved from the crash site of Egypt Air 804 suggest there was an explosion on board that may have brought down the aircraft in the East Mediterranean, a senior Egyptian forensic official said earlier today. The official, who is part of the Egyptian team investigating the crash that killed all 66 people on board the flight from Paris to Cairo early last Thursday, has personally examined the remains at a Cairo morgue. Egyptian authorities have said they believe terrorism is a more likely explanation than equipment failure, and some aviation experts have said the erratic flight reported by the Greek defense minister suggests a bomb blast or a struggle in the cockpit. But so far, no evidence has emerged. Check back with NaplesHerald.com for more updates. A potential car accident may have served as the catalyst to a Monday morning shooting in Fort Myers. At approximately 10.30 a.m., at least one shot was fired, striking and killing the driver of a silver sedan near the intersection of Blake Street and Cranford Avenue. The vehicle continued its movement until coming to a rest in a residential driveway. The Fort Myers police are searching for a black pickup truck that may have been involved. You can read more about it at LeeHerald.com. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.